is Joyce C and we're in for a fun fun just a couple minutes with you we are doing a summertime chopped salad so uh, I started a little bit ahead of time because I only want to take up a couple minutes for you but you know what it's called Memorial Week and it's just a couple days ahead of us and anybody that's over here in the East Coast Northeast Coast it ain't summertime right now I'm looking right out of my ocean and uh, winds are hailing about 40 miles an hour and it looks beautiful looking at it, but for sure and it's summertime but it was this past weekend and it's supposed to be next weekend so let's just have fun and let's just eat up and fill our bellies and let me give you some great ideas of what you can use for barbecue season so what we've done and i don't show this very often but this is one of our new bowls that recently came out and this this is our chill and serve bowl so this is a large one two and a half quarts we got the small baby also but the insert goes in and out of that so just let me show you this is the only piece that you're going to throw in your freezer you can let it live there that's what i do you throw it in the freezer and it chills it up okay so then you can put any kind of food in there and guess we're doing our chopped salad in here but you could be doing mac and cheese in there you could do macaroni salad coleslaw chicken salad shrimp salad anything with that mayo that has to stay chilled because it's going to keep that temperature between four degrees from start to finish for four whole hours so i know you guys in the old days you knew all about our cool and surf pattern so this is just the next step to that so that's what it's all about and you guys are going to say i have a cool and surf platter but he doesn't have a green bottom oh well this one of Joyce's has a green bottom, but they all have white bottoms now. And then you have this great little lid that makes it portable to carry it everywhere. It is absolutely fantastic. So I went and chopped up a little bit of our lettuce ahead of time, and we'll do a little bit more. And I have my salad choppers out here, and I already started things ahead. So we got our chicken grilling and our grill pan. And we got, let me turn it upside down. I have a boo-boo on a finger, so you guys got to forgive me. Uh, let me go this way. Uh, smash my finger, and you're going to say, how much else can you do? Well, I get to do everything because I'm just special. So we're going to go ahead and chop up this lettuce, okay? And you could do your chickens the same way as this, okay? So I already did a bunch of heads. So just showing you how you use your little salt chopper. So... There we go. We got those guys in there. This is one thing I want to share with everybody. You never want to use a knife. Now, if you use a serrated knife with your lettuce, that's okay. So when I'm saying serrated or a santuca, that's perfect. But never a straight knife because that lettuce will last about a half hour and then it's going to start browning right down the crease of it. So when you have the serrated there, it's going to be absolutely perfect for you. So that's what you want to do. So we got our lettuce in there, and that's what we're going to start with in our chill zone. Remember, we already chilled him up. Now, over here in our grill pan, and remember, grill pans, mm -hmm, all of our cookware, all of our cookware, 60% off in this month of May. So what we did is we grilled our chicken up. So when the grill pan says no oil, that means no oil. We don't have to add any oil to it. So you go ahead and heat this, heat this up if you're on an electric stove, um, medium to high. If you're on a gas stove, just a medium for about five minutes. Let it sit there and simmer and get hot, hot, hot. And then you throw your chicken in there or your pork chops on there or your steaks on there. Absolutely to die for. And you never overcook. You're just going to cook for about four to five minutes per side. Now, I have the chickens in here, but I'm talking about those nice, big, fat pork chops or your nice steaks. That's how you're going to do it. That's the beauty of your grill pans. That's what they do that for you. It's outside grilling being brought into your household. So that's a gorgeous thing. These are our grills pans. This is our cookware. Um, we got our cast iron pans. All those babies are on top. But remember, these guys go right from the stove top right into the oven to cook in there too. So that's the beauty of these babies. So we got our chicken cooked over there. I got my bacon coming out and I like my little, little gray grippers because they're for the little pans just like this. And this is our Ridge Baker and I'll show you this one here. So I'm not in my fancy kitchen cooking that you're used to seeing, man. I'm just at my 
uh, ocean kitchen, so it's nowhere as nice as the other one. But that's okay because I get to look at this gorgeous wonderland that Guy gave us out there. So the Rich Baker is absolutely gorgeous, and you can put your bacon on there, you can put your meatballs on there, your sausage on there. The reason it's so pretty, look at this nice, gorgeous bacon that I just drew out of there, and look, hardly any grease, and the little bit of grease that's there melts down into the wells, so it's never on the food that you're eating. So remember when I said light cops out, that's what it's all about. And my bacon is turkey bacon, it's not pork bacon, but it's a purdy. So that's your ridge baker. And that's what you're gonna use mostly for all of your meats. And if you wanna do your uh, fresh Brussels sprouts on there, that's absolutely perfect too, because what it does is it allows everything to brown equally all the way around. So we got our ridge baker there, we got our grill pan over here, we got our bacon, and you know, you can't do anything of this without having our special tongs. He's my baby boys, and I got my big boys there too. Couldn't live without these two essentials in my kitchen. In fact, I got two pairs of each of them just to keep me going. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw some of our peppers. We have our little yellow peppers, orange peppers, red, whatever color you wanna use. I would not suggest green, because green just has too tangy of a taste. And we're just gonna throw them in our MFP, and he's our manual food processor. We're just gonna chop them up just a little bit and throw some of him in to make a pretty, pretty colorful salad, because that's what it's all about. Remember, people eat through the eyes before they eat through the mouth. So let's just chop them up just a little bit. I mean, this guy can pulverize everything, but we don't want him to pulverize right now. And let's just splash a little bit of him in here. Go ahead and spread this around with our scraper guy. Put a little bit of yellow in there. Doesn't it look pretty? Now guys, you could put some um, summer squash in there. You could put some butternut squash in there. Everything tastes great. You can even put some apples or pears in there. It would be so super yummy. So you know what? It's whatever your family will let you get away with. That's what you want to work with. So then we're going to take some of our good tomatoes and take, and this is my um, slice and cut, and let me tell you, so the chicken that you're seeing over here, okay, this was two chicken breast, and I put my chicken breast right in here because it's hard to get chicken where we live because of the epidemic, so these babies were like this big, I swear they were turkey breast, but they were calling them chicken breast, and I had to slice them into foursies just to make them thin enough to put on here. So this is what we did, and watch how pretty. Look at these babies, mm-hmm, absolutely gorgeous. And if you see them, it sliced these all in half. And again, guys, this is just what I did my chicken breast with. So yep, you guys can call it a bacon slicer, you can call it a tomato slicer, or a grape slicer, whatever you want to. All that I can tell you is he works absolutely wonderful. So I think you all need him. These are some of my favorite products that I'm showing you. My MFP manual food processor, mm, love him, can't live without him. And then he's my slicing cut over here and I'm showing you all these babies and not even on purpose. So then let's take our shears, okay, and chop up, look how perfect this bacon is. Remember, it's the turkey, it ain't the beef, but it tastes just as good. Now we're gonna crumble up some bacon. We're gonna put some great cheese on there. We're gonna do our eggs on top of there. And now guys, I'm doing eggs because we're gonna eat eggs. And then you know what? We're gonna have, uh, you can do avocados just the same. We're gonna put our dressing together and then wahoo, it's all ready to go for everybody. So this is gonna be our yummies in the tummies for everybody here. And you're gonna eat with me. Hope you're smelling it from Joyce's Kitchen to your kitchen. So, perfect, perfect, perfect. And what I want you to do is tell me what your favorite product is that we're using, and I'll send you a set of recipes for that favorite product. That sounds wonderful to me. I hope you like that idea too. So let's take and we'll slice some egg in here. So I just harbled these real quickly. And guys, I harbled my eggs, and you know what? I harbled them right in 
the microwave because if I'm only, not when I'm doing a whole bunch, but when I'm only doing a couple of times, why not? Why go through all that extra work? So we're going to pretty them up. I actually like the white parts and I threw them in for my egg omelets in the morning. And so that's your egg slicer. Egg slicer, mushroom slicer, um, strawberry slicer. So he can do a little bit of everything. Now we're going to throw our chicken in there and he's going to be our beauty. This is going to be our dinner for tonight. So since restaurants aren't open and we are at the beach, guess what? We're cooking ourselves. And you know what? I think that's a great thing because I enjoy cooking. We're saving lots of money and we're eating healthy rather than the hard way or the less uh, nutritious way. So let's bring him over here. Clap some extra chicken on him. And I'm just going to leave him in strips because I think that'll look pretty. Okay. So we're going to think of these guys as we have our chicken tenders, even though they start with breast. And then we're going to have this beautiful salad dressing that I'm going to make and throw one for everybody. So super cool. I absolutely love it. Um, I don't know who's on with us tonight, but if you have any questions, please ask because Joycey likes to play with everybody. And guess what? We got those new summer products just coming out next week. So love you guys and love just entertaining and spending lots of time with you. So you guys are a true blessing in my life as I hope I am with yours. So I think we got a lot of chicken there. And let's put some crumbled cheese and then we're going to graze some fresh cheese. And then we're going to drizzle. And guys, yes, I did buy crumbled cheese that came out of container. And I hate to say that, but uh, you know, it's just how it is. Sometimes you got to do that. But we have to have, we have to have the good stuff that we're going to grade right in over top of it. So just, mmm, that fresh Asiago. Mm -hmm. And he's going to make it absolutely wonderful. Now, I'm heading back home tomorrow for just two days. And we'll have this for dinner tonight. And we will have this for lunch tomorrow, too. Because that's the beauty of this bowl. He can go everywhere with you and keep all this food nice and fresh. And right on top of everything. So... Mmm, mmm, mmm. Don't you just love this fresh cheese? Mm -hmm. Remember, guys, these babies stand up, they grate on top of something, they stand up right like that for you, or they lay down and go to sleep for you. So that's the perfect part of it. So let's get out, um, and this is new too. I want you guys to see this. This is our new salad uh, dressing maker. And. Uh, Works, works super cool, but it's great for transferring. So that's what I love about it more than anything. So what I've already done is I added my oil into it here. So EVOO and the lightest that you could buy. I put my honey already in there, okay? Honey is perfect. And then we put some spices in here, okay? A little bit of spices in there. And then I put my mustard in there. So this is a little bit of dry mustard. I already added it, so I don't want to add too much more of that. My salt and pepper is going in here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because remember, this is what Rachel tells me all the time. You got to spice everything up ahead of time. And then here comes the biggie that goes in there. My fresh garlic, because everything has to have fresh garlic in there. So we're going to squeeze our garlic buds in there and I had my garlic press out there. You see it, hon? Oh, here it is, right over here in front of me. I am used to working on a huge island, and now I'm in a little mini space, but that's okay because this is what most people have for a kitchen, so that's good. So we'll squeeze a butter fresh garlic in there, and plop, plop, get him in, mm-hmm, and knock him off, and I'll cut, he has the head cleaner that goes along with him. Absolutely. Perfection. Remember, when the sky pops up, perfection each and every time. Stainless steel in and out of that dishwasher over and over and over again. And then we're going to squeeze just some fresh lime juice in here. So let's slice them up. Mm -hmm. And I'm only going to do about a third. I'm going to put a little bit of that in there. And that's going to be our fat-free, fat-free mustard honey dressing. So remember what you guys are buying. Squeezing it right into this little hole. You're buying the stuff 
then you think you're eating a salad and you're gonna say, oh my gosh, I'm eating so healthy today. Ah! And then you're eating that honey mustard salad dressing that gives you about 500 calories for three servings. So you probably ain't doing it that way. So that's the beauty of this guy. That's my little citrus press, sucks it dry each and every time. And that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put this lid on and shake them up and we are going to play it up. I gotta get this on the right way because I'm gonna shake them with that. Come on, Joyce, thank you, come on, there we go. Shake them up just like this, just like you're doing a cocktail there. And then we're gonna plate them up and we're gonna drizzle them all on our dinner tonight. So guys, that's what's for dinner tonight at Joyce's. So, couple things, don't forget. Cookware, 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 60% off right now. Extremely important. And the air fryer, remember, only my hostesses with the mostesses can get it just now and probably through June. So you got to get it. Let's throw a party together and let's play together. You got to get him because he is the number one desired item in the world right now. And he's only available for my hostesses with the mostesses. So if you like everything, I'm going to say, uh, uh, this is how I say if your wish list is growing longer, that's okay. I would say, if you can afford to just buy it. If it's getting bigger and bigger, that's all right too. Have a show and get it for free. But if you want it all, I say, you might want to just test dry paint the chef just a little bit, just for one month, because they're giving you 100% rebate. 100% rebate. That means 100% cash back. So, love you guys. Blessings to all. Hope you're having a beautiful evening. Thanks for hanging out with us in this time of turmoil. And that's why I come in and help you be in your kitchen. But now we're giving healthy summertime food because we're all just biting at the bits to get out there and be with everyone else. Love you. I'm sending my heart to everyone. Don't forget, Philip Chef, like Philip Chef. And you'll be seeing me pretty much every night and getting recipes every single day. Blessings to all. Bye-bye.